Eugene O'Neill was born in New York City in a Broadway hotel room. The site is now a Starbucks, and there's a commemorative plaque posted outside on the wall with the inscription, Eugene O'Neill, America's Greatest Playwright, was born on this site October 16, 1888. He attended Princeton University for a year after he was suspended for throwing a beer ball through his professor's window. In 1913, after O'Neill's experience at a sanatorium where he was recovering from tuberculosis, he decided to devote himself full-time to writing plays. O'Neill's first published play, Beyond the Horizon, opened on Broadway in 1920. To great acclaim, it was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. His first major hit was The Emperor Jones, which also ran in 1920. His best-known plays include Anna Christie, Desire Under the Elms, Strange Interlude, Morning Becomes Electra, and his only well-known comedy, Ah, Wilderness, a wistful reimagining of his youth as he wished it had been. And in 1936, he received the Nobel Prize for Literature. After suffering from multiple health problems, including alcoholism and depression, over the years, O'Neill ultimately faced severe tremors in his hands, which made it impossible for him to write during the last 10 years of his life. O'Neill died in room 401 at the Sheraton Hotel in Boston on November 27, 1953, at the age of 65. As he was dying, his last words were, I knew it, I knew it, born in a hotel room and died in a hotel room. Other famous quotes from him are, Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. Man is born broken, he lives by mending, the grace of God is glue, and there is no present or future, just the past, happening over and over again now. His last play was published three years after his death, although his written instructions had said he wanted it published 25 years after his death. A Long Day's Journey into the Night was produced on stage, and this last play is widely considered to be his finest piece.